Hi everybody, welcome back. Today is monthly confession time for February and it is a major <laughs> fail for me this month. I didn't factor a few things into my no shopping journey, especially for February or basically the early of the year. And a few of the items that I bought this month, um, I blame it definitely on myself because I have no self-control but also i didn't factor in a few things firstly i didn't factor in chinese new year oh, i totally forgot that during chinese new year is the time that i do buy a few things and then i obviously didn't factor in um it's the month before my birthday so something happened so i'll talk about that as well and i also didn't factor in work related traveling because yeah, I don't travel all the time for work, but I do travel once in a while and I actually went to Japan. So, uh, Japan, <laughs> Japan, Vietnam, Bangkok. These are the three countries that I have no self-control. Yes, I did not do well in February. So if any of you did not do well in February, confess with me. <laughs> or if you did well this month, good on you that two months in a row or you're doing, you know, you didn't do well in January, coming back in February, well done. Put all your comments in the comments down below but let me confess okay because <laughs> i'm staring at this pile of stuff that i have used but i've also uh, purchased a few things here like uh okay all right so let's get started before i talk about the stuff that i actually acquired i was really digging the stuff that i had and one of the items that i kind of started to use even though uh i bought this quite a while ago is this uh, Kazurase uh, BB Cream. I bought this while I was in Kyoto and that was quite a while ago but I didn't bring it out to use because it's the only one I have. I actually bought it from this store. It's it's the only store in Kyoto, Japan that you can get it from. I think they have one more outlet but it's also in Kyoto. They do not distribute it out of Kyoto. You probably can buy it on eBay but it's twice or three times the price. They are famous for their Camellia oil. This BB cream, I dug it out because I was like digging all my stuff and I was like, oh, I should use this. And that's what I'm using on my skin today. And I have been so in love with it. It's so tiny. <laughs> and I think when I'm finished, I need to go to Kyoto. <laughs> so look at my skin. It looks luminous. So there are two things on my skin right now. My base is this foundation and it has a few colors only. So if you're really more of the tan side or you're a little bit darker this they don't have shades for that the company was actually making like hair uh, accessories and the camellia oil for the geishas so a lot of their products are more on the fairer side but this is the color natural ochre and it goes pretty good with my skin it comes out a little bit gray but obviously after it warms up it, actually, it looks really good and it has very 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 light micro shimmers in it so the first time i put it in my skin i thought i had some like blush or shimmer on my skin but it's actually from the foundation i was like oh that might not look so good but once it goes on the skin that shimmer does not come through but it actually makes your skin look so luminous so i absolutely have been loving it and the other item that i discovered from my collection is this brush this is the it cosmetics heavenly luxe flawless foundation i have it in like a set of a few brushes but this is the one that i have been using because i don't know i've been using this brush this is the okay it's rubbed off but this is a foundation brush from uh, real techniques and i do like it i mean i've been using this for a, a long time and have a few of them it's nice but it does feel a little bit like scratchy you know that it's not like super soft but this feels so soft on the skin so I've kind of like put this aside for maybe other things so I've dug this out and I've, it's been on my um, dressing table I've used it every day with this particular um, foundation the reason I don't use this with a beauty blender because it is so little and the beauty blender actually soaks up a lot of the product so I am using a brush to be a little bit more stingy I actually put it on my face with my fingers and then just use the brush to spread it out but oh my gosh this combination is amazing. I need to go Kyoto because they don't, sell, they don't sell it anywhere else. For my eyes, I've also really been using this palette a lot this month. And this is the Becca 5 sh Shadow Pen Ombre Rouge palette. I don't know which color this one. They have two, but this is more of the warmer tone one. And I really, really like this. What I've got on my eyes is only this, uh, the color number one and number th three. Yeah, one and three. So one as a base and then three all over my lid. And that's all I've got 
The other one is just a little bit of a highlight on the top, but I've put a little bit of pencil coal just to darken the, um, my eyelid. But in terms of shadow, that's all I have. And I have been using this a lot because I've been running around a lot this month with Chinese New Year and with um, my traveling, so I don't have a lot of time to put eyeshadow. So this is the one that I have kind of like, you know, just give my eyes a bit of color, but so convenient and I have rediscovered this. So let's talk about a few things that I actually purchased um, while I have rediscovered my stash. I have been dying, okay, dying. So I think this kind of full, um, fits into one of my rules when I'm, I know shopping. I do, I say that if I have a permanent item, I need to wait six months before I jump onto that boat. So the item that I've been waiting for more than six months because it has been out of stock since last July, I think it was last July, until like this month, it finally came back and I was like, I'm buying it, okay. It fits into my rule, so I don't feel so guilty, but I'm telling you what I bought. So this is the Face One brush from Sonia G and let me tell you, if you are a makeup brush lover, you have to get this brush. This is freaking amazing. It is Oh my gosh, it is so good to buff out setting powder or even buff out this kind of a finishing powder. It's firm, but so soft. Just look at that. And let me tell you, I have been on a hunt for a brush that has this kind of feel and look and um, purpose. And let me, there's none, okay, there is none. I have not found one. I went to Japan just recently, looked around for a very similar brush like this, but I swear there is nothing like it. If they have a similar shape, it is usually for foundation, so it's mixed with synthetic, um, synthetic fibers, but this is pure natural. It's natural, it's, I believe it's goat hair. Oh my gosh, it is so luxurious so i actually used it to buff out my setting oh sorry my finishing powder and this is amazing just to let you guys know in terms of confessions i actually bought two so <laughs> i stayed up because they launched this in japan um it was three o'clock a.m in japan it was the day that i arrived in japan and i said you know what i don't care if i am dead exhausted the next day i am waking up so i set my alarm and i woke up to buy two i just literally just woke up pressed the two button put check out and i fell back to sleep because there was no way that i was going to miss out for this brush again because oh my gosh i have been waiting okay <laughs> i've been waiting so this is the first item that i bought and people if you are a japanese hair or whatever makeup lover you need this you need this in your life say so sticking with brushes there's one more brush that i bought and this brush i it is kind of random but i kind of panicked all right so these are the tom ford brushes and these are the two that i already have i have the bronzer brush which i bought a few years ago and i use it often it is Oh, so good, so nice. Okay, I just love brushes. Then this is actually the cheek brush and I have not used this. I was actually intending to dig out a lot of my makeup brushes to use, but when I took it out from the box, I'm like, maybe not, <laughs> maybe not. But anyway, well, it's on my dressing table. These are the two brushes that I got and I had uh, bought previously. I think these was maybe two years ago. And this brush is the one that I bought this month because I heard that Tom Ford brushes and not only heard, I confirm that Tom Ford brushes are now all synthetic. And you know, if you've been using natural hair brushes for a long time, there is something just, oh, I, I can't even, I, I can't even explain. There's no word. There's, it's luxurious. It's soft. It's, it makes putting on makeup to be such an experience. So I went to, uh, I think it was like maybe mid of, uh, maybe just after China, oh, I, mean, I don't know when, okay, anyway, I just walked into Tang's and I was thinking, okay, I was thinking of getting maybe a backup of this brush because it is really nice, it's a good size for um, kind of like putting blusher and, you know, just buffing out stuff. So I was thinking of getting another one, natural hair, but guess what, it's all sold out. This brush is all sold out in Singapore. You can't get the natural hair brushes anymore. You can only get the synthetic ones. I think they had a few more of these brushes in natural hair, but obviously I have one and I'm not gonna buy two. It's way too expensive. 
So I asked, I said, do you have any more of the eyeshadow brush? Because Michelle Wong, uh, her name is Michelle Wong. Yeah, it's Michelle Wong. Um, she raves about the Tom Ford brushes. And I actually don't need one more of these because I do have a few. I have some from Chikuhodo and I have a few from Hakuhodo as well. But she does say that this is pretty good. So I decided to get one. I could have gotten more, but I decided to just get one to try out because you know it's natural hand. You can't get any more of them. And I do like it. It's very firm. It's definitely better than um, some of my other brushes. But yeah, it's a bit expensive. So anyway, I got this brush. This is the uh, Tom Ford Eyeshadow Blending Brush. If any of you are in the market to get the Tom Ford brushes in a natural hair, I do recommend that. Even if you're in a low buy or a no buy, I think you might have to make an exception for some of these brushes now because they're not going to make them anymore, right? They're not going to make the natural hair ones. So maybe have to forgive yourself. <laughs> and if you want to buy it, you better buy it now. And that's the way I just decided to get one. I could have gotten more, but yeah, that's enough. I think Tom Ford brushes are a little bit too expensive. I started to use more oil this month, both morning and night. My skin is not doing the best. This month has been really stressful for me uh, in terms of just the holidays and also uh, work, traveling and yeah, just meetings that I'm not really fond of. So I'm really stressed about it. But, and my skin shows, okay? My skin is acting up. So anyway, I have been using a little bit of the Sisley oil sometimes when I need like, you know, something more um, relaxing and calming because this smells really nice. It's like, it feels like a, the spa when I smell it. So when I'll use this when I feel like it's a really stressed out day that I just want to relax and calm down. Didn't really use it a lot this one because there were two other oils or three, okay? One of them was purchased. So I'll talk about that. Three, uh, two of these oils I have been um, kind of, using interchangeably. So this is the Camilla oil which I was talking about, the uh, Kazurase one. This is the pure Camilla oil which is really nice but definitely thicker. This is the La Mer Renewal oil which smells amazing. This is also very similar to this that I have been using just a little bit uh, for the month. I do like them. I don't think it's it's changed my skin to make it amazing. I don't think so. Maybe with the traveling my skin has just been like like awful. So I have been using these three oils, like kind of switching it up every day. Then I made the mistake to walk into Sephora. That is like the worst thing you can do when you're on a no buy. Okay, never. If you're like a makeup lover like me, never walk into Sephora because I will never walk out with one thing. <laughs> so I walked out with the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. This little guy here. So Drunk Elephant's Marilla Oil is something that has been on my mind, but it doesn't hit the six month mark. I'll just have to admit it, it doesn't. But it happened to be the weekend after I met my good friend and she was telling me how her doctor gave her Marilla Oil to help with scars and she said that it has done amazing things for her skin. And because this month has been so sucky for me, I was like, I think I want to check out this Marilla Oil. So I walked into Sephora and then I stopped at the drunk elephant counter and I remember, okay, let's try it. And the thing that kind of caught my eye was that how freaking fast it absorbs into the skin. Like, you put a little bit, you just like rub it, you tap it or whatever, it absorbs into the skin so fast. The Camilla all doesn't, so this is more of a heavier one, though I wake up with like skin like blub. Um, the La Mer one does uh, sink into the skin pretty fast. The Sicily one is like in between. I would say in between the Marula oil and uh, the Camellia oil. It's kind of like in between. These two are quite fast absorbing, but this is like really fast absorbing. So I was kind of intrigued. I was like, ooh, an oil that's not really oily. So I was like, mm -hmm, uh, fine, I'll buy it. Because I was, I was really curious, okay? So... The only saving grace that I gave to myself is that the old cat would have bought the big ass bottle. I would have bought the bigger one, but I was stand, I was just standing at the drunk elephant, like just a little section, going like 15, 30, 15, 30, come on cat, you don't know if you need so much. 15, oh, about 15 so expensive. And I was debating with myself for so long and I decided, you know what? I don't need more oils, but I do want to try this because I know I'm going in September to America and it is cheaper there. So, 
if I really finish it up by then and I do like it after so many months, I will consider getting the bigger bottle while I'm in them, while I'm in America. So that's like my only saving grace on my no shopping thing. I kind of resisted because the old cat always buys the bigger bottle. The old cat will say, bigger is cheaper. <laughs> And I end up not using the entire bottle, so bought the smaller one and it is kind of cute. Then while I was in Sephora, <laughs> I also went there for another idol. And this is the Pharmacy Green Clean. Okay, so this is the one. Pharmacy Green Clean, um, what the heck is it? Oh, it's Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Bar. So the one that I'm using, it's actually not this, but I have depotted it into a a smaller one. This is the Eve Lom's um, Balm Cleanser. The one that is in the top, white colour top. I have finished, I've got a little bit, well not a little bit, I think I could use it for another month or so every day. I still have quite a bit. I don't use it all the time unless I have a lot of makeup on. But I watched this, uh, I think her name is Renee from Gothamista. Do not watch her videos, people. Do not watch her videos. She, she has amazing skin and anything she recommends, I'm like, mm, jotted, <laughs> jotted. She recommended this Mahola Balm Cleanser and she was saying how luxurious it feels like your spa and she said how it cleans. Soy and Budalish. The only thing that stopped me was the price. It was so expensive. It was $70. The old cat where I bought it, okay, I'm telling you, the old cat was like, you know what, just try it out. And bu buy it together with the brush, you know, I'll just put it in the cart and just wait for the brush to uh, come up and I'll just put it together. But yeah, the price was way too expensive. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to check out this one because um, Tara Babies, uh, she recommended this and she has used so many of us. Like, okay, since... I do like the Yves Lom one, but it is too expensive. It's something that I will not repurchase when I finish it. I know it's really nice and I know people do rave, used to rave about it. I don't hear it so often anymore, but it is too expensive. This is definitely a better alternative and I actually do like this better than this. So yeah, I, it, it was about, I think it was like $50 or something and just a little bit, I think like a pea size amount, oh sorry, not pea size, 20 cent amount can clean my whole face and then after that I would just clean with another cleanser and it gets off the makeup really well, it doesn't sting my eye. So I do like this purchase, I am, I would say that this would be my uh, finishing of this because so I've got a little bit more maybe today I will finish this off and I will feel a little, little bit better <laughs> because it is kind of like a replenishment. Though I, didn't, I would prefer to replenish when I finish. That is the only thing that I have to do the rest of the year. Only buy when I finish. Because I'm like, oh, it's finishing. I should go and buy it. It's like that. Okay, so something that I'm going to promise to myself or make myself try to remember is to buy only when I'm finished. And the makeup category didn't do so well this month. Okay, moving on to clothing. And you guys know that I don't buy clothing very often. So this month, I did buy a few pieces. And like I said, I did not factor Chinese New Year into my um, no buy and I also didn't factor traveling. So let's talk about the Chinese New Year expenses. Ah, Chinese New Year is some, when, okay in my younger days I used to buy a lot of things for Chinese New Year. I buy a new shirt, new pants or a new dress or something new uh, just because I'm following tradition but as I've gotten older, I've gotten lazier and I'd rather buy makeup and luxury stuff. Like makeup is like the thing that I love to buy, okay? I can kind of resist on luxury, but I just, makeup and skincare, ugh, so hard. But, but clothing is something that I'm not stylish, okay? You guys know I'm very simple. I like fun things, um, things that make me happy and comfortable. So I actually um, don't buy a lot, but during Chinese New Year, it's sometimes that I do my gift my give myself an exception. So this year, <laughs> there are two things that I usually buy because I am freaking superstitious, okay? I am the kind of person that you would say to me, okay, like last time you told me young, you, know, you must always wear red for Chinese New Year, otherwise this will happen. And if it really sinks into me, like as a culture, as a superstitious belief, I will do it, okay? <laughs> so one thing that sticks to me for Chinese New Year as a culture superstitious kind of thing is I 
make sure the house is really clean before Chinese New Year. So on Chinese New Year Day, it's not clothing yet, okay, but on Chinese New Year Day, I do not touch anything, okay? I don't wash the cup, I don't wash clothes, I don't, you know, sweep the floor, I don't do anything. Don't even, don't even move that dust that's on the table because I hear that you're not supposed to clean on the Chinese New Year Day, just that all your good fortune, all your good luck, all the good blessings are gone. So I'm a freak, okay, <laughs> on the first day. I'm like, don't clean it, don't move that shoe, leave it there, just don't touch it, let it be, okay, it's just 24 hours. And the day before that, I'll be cleaning, I'll be mopping. I think you watch my vlog and I'm like, oh, I've just cleaned, I've washed the clothes and everything. And that's me the day before Chinese New Year. <laughs> And, you know, it's not, I won't say I'm like super clean, okay, but it's clean enough that I can kind of accept it, you know, I've given a mop, I've given it a vacuum, I wash the toilets, you know, cut my fingernails, you know, clean the clothes, wash the clothes, hang the clothes, things like that, just to get the house in order. Uh, of course, if some people who are really clean freaks will come, oh my god, dust there, yeah, obviously, it's, there's still dust somewhere. <laughs> anyway, I digress, okay. So that's one of the things that I do for Chinese New Year. And then the other thing that I do for Chinese New Year is I do buy something new. And the two things that I have kind of decreased, like usually last time it was like everything new, and then it became new in red, and then it became only new this. So <laughs> the two things that I bought new are actually new shoes and new underwear. <laughs> So I bought new panties. Obviously, I'm not going to show them here. Okay, I bought new panties uh, from Uniqlo uh, for Chinese New Year, and I bought a pair of new shoes, which are not with me right now. If I remember, I will put a picture. Otherwise, I bought a pair of new shoes for Chinese New Year because apparently the superstition is the first day you walk out, uh, like the first day you walk out of the house, you gotta wear new shoes. It's just um, a funny thing a friend said to me. <laughs> okay, I didn't say anything, okay? I didn't do anything bad. But apparently, if you walk out on day one with new shoes, okay? New, brand new shoes. As you walk out the house with that shoe, the first step you can do is you can, you know, curse somebody. <laughs> and it'll come true. So if you, like, you had a really bad year for that past year and, like, maybe somebody wasn't doing so good to you or you know you're just really frustrated with that person on chinese new year day one if you wear new shoes you can step out of the house and you can go you idiot have a bad year <laughs> yeah i heard about it but i didn't do it okay it's just something that stuck to me like <laughs> not the bad not the stepping on somebody but more of like you know you gotta wear new shoes <laughs> on chinese new year so i kind of you know compartmentalize what I wanted to hear from that particular superstition. Um, yeah, so I bought a pair of new shoes and a little bit of the that I didn't need new shoes. But yeah, Chinese New Year, okay. Chinese New Year is something that, ah, uh, next year when I do this no buy, low buy thing again, I will uh, definitely factor in festivities. And Chinese New Year is definitely a big one. The other thing that I factor in and clothing as well, hang on, let me just grab it are pieces of clothing. Okay, so I don't buy a lot of uh, work clothes. I wear the same thing, same, same, every day, all day, all year, and until something is just, I'm looking at it like, oh, I'm so sick of you, <laughs> or I can't fit in it, or it starts to rip apart, then I'll buy something new. So I went to Japan, for to, uh, Tokyo, to have a few meetings, and one of the meetings is to meet a lawyer. So... <laughs> I don't meet people or meet clients all the time, okay? I used to when I was working as a consultant, but in my current job, I'm more back office and I love it, okay? I don't need to deal with people or external people. I do deal with a lot of internal people. Um, but yeah, I don't deal externally. You know, I don't meet, you know, I'm not the face of anything. And yeah, I can dress really like, you know, don't wear my makeup and I'm not really bothered, not bothered. <laughs> So this time we were going to meet lawyers and one of the lawyers were actually is actually um, the partner of the firm. Like his name is the firm's name. <laughs> it's like do 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 and his name is one of them. And I was like, what? Do I have to make a good impression? Fine. <laughs> and to add to that, uh, I don't um it's cold, right? It's cold and I actually don't have a lot of long sleeved uh, outfits. I have dresses for this kind of weather and I'm sleeveless. So I have a few problems when I go to Japan if I have to meet a 
a person, you know, an, an external people that I've never met before, make a good impression, is I've got tattoos. Okay, I've got tattoos on my arm here. I've got tattoos on my ankle, and I have worked in a very conservative environment before for a year and a half in Malaysia, and I had to wear long sleeve, long pants all the time. Like I can never show any part of my body, especially tattoos. So that those days were gone, and I have. When, when I left that environment, I never wore pants unless I had to or I felt like it, okay? I wore dresses, short, above the knee, sleeveless, it's like, it's like a re rebel, okay? <laughs> so, I had to go to Japan, meet partners, slightly conservative, and I needed to get, make a good impression, so damn! <laughs> I had to buy something to wear. Plus it's cold, so I need to wear like two layers. So I bought this pair of pants from Uniqlo and let me tell you, Uniqlo makes pretty good work pants. Like I never, I've never gone to buy work clothes from Uniqlo. This is from Uniqlo, I, I love Uniqlo, okay. So this is a pair of, um, it's, it's, it looks like it's got, let me show you. It's, it looks, let me see if I can show you. Yeah, it looks like it's got a zip. Right? It's got pockets, pleats and pockets, but people, it does not have a zip. It's a pull-up. <laughs> it's a pull-up gutter pants. I'm like, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> there's no zip. It's like work pants, sweat pants. <laughs> and it looks so freaking good. Okay, I, I don't think they have a model. I don't know, it just says, the hip body elastic part <laughs> but yeah it's elastic look elastic so you wear it you wear it i wear it okay let me show you i wear it like i'm wearing sweatpants and they work pants <laughs> it's a fun buy okay it's a fun buy i actually didn't know that until i went into the fitting room and i was like where's the zip i'm like oh when i saw it, i was like Gutter. <laughs> okay, the only part was a little bit difficult was the hip, the hip bone. I was like, uh, uh, maneuvering it in a little bit at the uh, in the fitting room. Yeah, but once I got it on, it looks so good. Okay, so the other thing that I bought and I got this. Okay, this is just random, but I just want to show you what the two items that I got. Got another shirt, not something that you guys can buy, and I'm not gonna recommend it. It's just a random. Ugh, really like uh, shit but I got it because that I needed to wear something in Japan <laughs> the thing that I did buy while I was in Japan uh, I know I told you guys right Japan Japan Vietnam Bangkok these are my three three countries okay three countries I know I've got some <laughs> I've got some subbies from Vietnam and Bangkok I love you guys. I love your country, okay? You guys have the best stuff. It's not junk. It's just, I feel like, ah, oh, I seem to buy stuff when I come back. Tourism, well done. People, you need to go to Uniqlo in Tokyo. It's 12 freaking floors of Uniqlo. I went straight to the 10th or 11th floor where they had so many types of t-shirts. I was actually looking for Doraemon t-shirts, but they didn't have any in the kids section, so I was a little bit sad. I bought this t-shirt. I, I don't know if it's men's or ladies, I don't think they really care, but it's S. Let's keep the tag. Look at this t-shirt. It's Pac-Man, okay? Pac-Man. It's called... Um, the game by Nambo, Namco Museum. It's made in Vietnam, okay? So, it's kind of like me in Vietnam. <laughs> me in Vietnam, me in Japan, me in Bangkok, whatever. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's... Oh. Forgive me. I love it. <laughs> so, I bought this. I bought one more for my husband as well. Uh, not not Pac-Man, but didn't have the Pac-Man one for him. I bought him a Mickey Mouse one. Then, the other thing which is like, Totally random, I swear. I have no idea where I'm going to wear this, but how can I not? We went into Tokyo Station and they have a whole section of all the Japanese toys and Japanese 
um, anime. They had Pokemon, uh, not Pokemon. Sorry, they had a uh, Hello Kitty, Relakuma. They had Sailor Moon and Ultraman and everything. And one shop sold Doraemon. Okay, a very small section of it. How could I not walk out with something? If they had Doraemon shirts, I swear, screw the no buy. I buy all the <laughs> all the Doraemon shirts. But I bought Doraemon socks. Freaking cute. <gasps> do, 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 do. <laughs> oh I bought socks, okay? I can't help myself. I, I think I will wear them with my Chanel shoes and just look, look, at, just look at it. Look at him. Oh my god, he's so cute. And then I thought I'd just buy one and then I saw a head, okay? <laughs> with a helicopter. I'm crazy. Okay, I'm crazy. Two characters of, um, you know, Japan. Doraemon. Doraemon, I love you. And Hello Kitty. These are the two. Doraemon, I feel a little bit more cuter because there were cartoons of Doraemon and I used to watch cartoons of how Doraemon would pull out stuff from his, uh, his magic bag. But yeah, Hello Kitty didn't have any cartoons, but she's just cute, okay? She's just cute. Oh, she's so cute. Doraemon's a cat, by the way. Both of them are cats. So yes, I bought that and wait, I've got one more. Okay, one. This is, doesn't really fall into clothing, but I have to show you as well because it's a monthly confessions. This is going to be a long video. I hope you guys have like something to drink because I'm drinking wine in a cup. Okay, you can't see that. It's white Prosecco. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm laughing so much. Anyway, I bought this as well. This, I have, I, I didn't actually open it. But it is a, what is it called? A grocery bag? One of those bag, economy bags. But can you see? All right, let's open it. Oh my God, it's gonna be cute. Oh my God. I, I die, okay, I die. Oh, I should have bought two. Oh. Okay, let me just show you where Doraemon is. There's one, that's him. It's him again showing his bum. And these, and all the other colors, all the things that he'll pull up from his little bag. Oh my god! I'm so happy. luxury I've got three things to update the first is the bags that I have been using so the one that I have with me right now and I have been yeah really enjoying is the toolbox my toolbox swift leather blue talasa in size 26 this is the bag that I have been using uh, for the past two weeks so next week I'll be using it so the week before and the week, oh, three, two, kind of like two and a half weeks and I used it while I was in Japan I love it. Okay, I love the size. It fits a lot. The only thing, it does get quite heavy. I do have quite a lot of things inside. As you can see, it's really packed. I've got my camera. I've got my camera holder. I've got money, coins, bags, lipstick, my uh, rechargeable battery. I've got stuff, okay. But it does get heavy. The leather is, I mean, it is a full leather bag. So it got a few, quite heavy a few times up to a point that I had to hand carry it. On my shoulder, it was like, oh, it's getting a bit heavy. The other bag, I will insert a picture, I guess, or maybe not, you know, you guys have seen it, is my Celine box bag. And that was the bag that I was using earlier in the month for about a week and a half, maybe a little bit more. And then Chinese New Year came and then I used my bum bag for a few days. But yes, Celine box bag is the other bag that I have been rotating uh, this month for my Lux bags. The other update I want to give you guys, and it is, oh shit, it is a life changer. Let me show you. And I really want to thank my wonderful, wonderful Subby who sent this to me. She contacted me via email and asked me if I wanted to try this because she knew that I have a few walks and one of my problems with the walk is the length of the strap. So let me show you guys. She gave me something. So this is my walk. Uh, that is uh, my Chanel Trendy CC and I have used the thing that she's given me and look at the length of the strap. Look at it. It's so short, right? 
she there is an adjuster inside and let me show you guys oh my god let me show you guys it is so high right now you can wear it like that normally without the adjuster inside it falls beneath my hip she has changed my walk life <laughs> Thank you so much. I want, I'm going to leave the link below where you can get this, but let me show you what it is. Can you see inside there is a clip? See this clip right here? It'll change your life, okay? So let me take it out and you can see. Just twist it and it'll come out. This little hook right here, all you got to do is twist it put the two straps inside here and here hook it and it will change your back leg okay so take this hook put it through like this All right so it hooks like that and then put the other side see i just basically put um the strap inside and then this just twist it up and it locks and wear it so if you want it like shorter you can obviously uh, make this part longer but if I wanted it a bit longer then you just kind of like adjust it life freaking changing okay <laughs> so she gave me a few pieces and um, it comes with silver and the one that I'm wearing using right now is the light champagne gold it is so such a simple product but so freaking good oh my gosh now the final thing which obviously is the biggest fail of this month and i will insert a clip now pop it up on my foot black paper it happened okay so Guys, you need to watch my five things that I will buy this year and it goes together with my no buy or stop shopping uh, rule. Those are the things that I want to buy and it's coming, okay? That video has been edited, has been prepared and it's gonna go up on my birthday next month. I am so, so excited. It's... It's shocking that it happened a little bit earlier. Like I said, in my no shopping, I will want to only make two hauls this year and hopefully they coincide with my birthday and my Christmas uh, and the Christmas time. But if they don't, you know, too bad, but I hope they do. And this is kind of close. So I am uh, preparing it for my birthday. So I don't think there will be any more purchases for my birthday. I have four more items to achieve this year though i don't know because um march has been quite expensive i have purchased a few things but not any of these luxury stuff i actually bought some plane tickets for america so that is a big purchase uh, which is totally not relevant to my no shopping so yeah that has been really expensive so in march i am even though I may want to do some shopping, I am actually really blo broke in March. It has blown my budget to buy four plane tickets to America. And yeah, four. Okay, you're wondering why four, right? It's for me, my husband, my mom and my dad. Obviously, I buy their flight tickets. I don't, you know, yeah, obviously, right? They're my parents. So I have a few things like the big expenses that happen uh, for the month of March. Uh, I'm pretty sure March, I am quite safe. <laughs> there is nothing that I can buy. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this really chatty video. Uh, I think it's going to be really long. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any confessions, please put it down below. I really love that you guys have been participating in my monthly confessions. It means so much to me that you guys are, you know, just sharing the things that are like, oh, you know, I bought something. Oh, yes, yes, I made it. I really, really love reading all of that if i haven't replied to any of you i'm so sorry sometimes i don't catch the message early enough but i do try my best to reply to everyone that i you know uh, see as it pops out and yeah thank you so much for sharing please continue to do so because we have another 11 months plus this month to go hope you guys enjoyed this till my next video you guys take care and i'll see you then bye